Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about Donna K. Cloud and looking into her case. Um, it says she is endangered missing since 2016, October 2016, from Splendora, Texas. Um, she was born in 1997. She was 19 years old at the time. She was very tiny. She was only five foot tall and weighed 95 to 100 pounds. Um, she had brown hair. Uh, brown eyes. I think they've got it backwards. The hair, the hair is supposed to be shoulder length, straight hair. Anyway, it says she had a tattoo that says "Faith" on the inside of her right forearm. One on her right collarbone that says "Love is Enough." One of a diamond on her left finger, right finger. One of a cross on her index finger on the same hand, and one of a queen's crown on the inside of one of her forearms. They have her dentals, her fingerprints, and her DNA is all available. Um, it says she was wearing a burgundy blouse, denim jeans with a hole in the right back pocket, white canvas shoes, and white, lace, white laces. Um, she carried a hard case she called a wallet, cell phone identification. She w says she was last seen Tuesday, October 25th, 2016, before going on a date with an unknown male she met online. And somewhere else it says that's not true. So... I don't know. It says she left to go on a date, but others say she didn't. It is unknown if she went there, but relatives say they spoke to her the next day. She gave no clue as her location. And during the last contact, she said she was staying another night, but others say that didn't actually happen. So I don't know exactly what happened, but... We'll look at it. There's some pictures of her. We're trying to find what we can find online, and I don't see a lot. But I don't know if there's any unidentified remains that have been found that fits her height and weight anywhere. Because I didn't look to see. Um, but this was from 2019. They're still looking for her. Because she had been missing since 2016. And this says endangered missing. She was 19 years old when she went missing. This is 95 to 133 pounds, five foot to five foot two. Um, her ears are pierced. Her nose is pierced on the right side. And then there you can see pictures of tattoos. So, um, she has a crown on the inside of her forearm and a script writing on her back. On the right shoulder blade reading, God is within her. She will not fail. Psalms 46.5. Photos of the same clouds. Tattoos are posted with this case summary. She has deep dimples on both of her cheeks. Um, it says she was last seen in Splendor, Texas on October 25th, 2016. Um, she had recently moved in with her father, and he later claimed she left the home to go on a blind date with an unidentified man she met online. However, this story was not true. In fact, Cloud's father had asked her to leave following an argument. And then it says supposedly two men picked her up, um, and one of them said he dropped her off. So either shortly before or shortly after midnight on October 26th, somebody was using her Facebook account and accepting friend requests from two men. And I don't know if it was her or not, but she was active online supposedly on October 27th. And you don't know if somebody's got her phone or if they had access to her Facebook some other way. But then it says supposedly she was traveling between Conroe, Texas and Houston, Texas. But... Her trial ended in West Chase area of Houston just after 1 a.m. on October 27th. And she's never been heard from again. So you don't know if somebody else has her phone trying to hide where she's at. Maybe she was dead or maybe she's alive and she's traveling. So we don't know. So she had an abusive ex-boyfriend. Um, another man supposedly threatened her. The ex-boyfriend passed a polygraph. She doesn't have any credit cards. She left her car, her money, her identifications, and clothes behind. So who's going to do that? Who's going to leave and not take their car or their money or their identification or their clothes? 
and leave their son behind. See, the whole thing doesn't make any sense there at all. And the father says their relationship was strained. But, yeah, so I guess a lot of people are blaming the father. And I can see why. You know, she's missing. And I guess he says his life's been, you know, he's been going through a lot since she went missing. But, you know, he, I don't know. It, it's the whole thing seems suspicious i mean who made up the story about her going on the blind date her father did but and they say she never went on the blind date and then they say two men picked her up and then somebody's on her facebook and they're accepting requests from two men so i don't know what happened but i don't know what happened i don't know who did it and i don't know who had her phone or who went on her facebook but if she left her stuff behind the whole thing just seems sad and mysterious so and then there's a thing with the father pleading. And I, I don't know. He took days off from work to go look for her. So. And he's been slandered cruelly. So a lot of people are judging him. So I don't know. I don't know. You know, you just don't know what happened or who did it or what the truth is. Because, you know, we weren't there. If, if you're not there, you, you just don't know. But she's missing. And if you have any information or if you know anything that can help the authorities, you should go tell the authorities, no matter how small you think it is. You may think it's insignificant or it's not important. But, you know, you should contact the authorities and let them know. Because she had a son and she had family that loves her. So, if you know anything, don't think that what you know is insignificant. Go and let the family know. Say, hey, I know this. There's some comments on here. Um, her phone pinging. See, I don't know. So if you know any information, you should contact the authorities because that's just, she's, was, she's such a beautiful young lady and hopefully she's alive and hopefully she's okay. But it's been years now, so I can't even imagine. And that's going to be terrible for her family and her child. Just can't even imagine. So, you know, you, you might know something. And you can always remain anonymous. There's ways that you can you can give them information and you can remain anonymous. I mean, but if you know something, you should let the authorities know. So her family finds out or so that they can, you know, close the case. Instead of them having to go through this forever and not knowing what happened to her. So... Anyway, uh, please feel free to leave comments. Um, well, the whole thing, the whole thing sounds suspicious and you don't know who did it or who did what or what really happened. But if anybody does know anything, they should contact them and let them know because it's just very sad. Anyway, I thank you for tuning in and please feel free to leave comments. Um, have a great day. Bye bye.